Welcome back to Close Up. We'll wrap things up this morning with some political analysis from WMUR political reporter John DeStaso. Good morning. Happy New sure. Year. Happy New Year to you. So you broke a story last week uh, about the party chairman of the Democrats here in New Hampshire, Ray Buckley, throwing some major league shade at Governor Jay Inslee of Washington, who had been the chair of the Democratic Governors Association. Mm -hmm. uh, chairman Buckley essentially saying that he uh, abandoned it. Yeah, the Inslee did not do enough to help Molly Kelly in 2018. Mm. This isn't the position that anybody wants to be on, stepping on toes, but is this going to damage Inslee in a lasting way, do you think? Well, I mean, I, I think it might because Buckley has a lot of, uh, you know, credibility within the party. He's been elected six times. He's a 12-year 12, 12 uh, chairman. It's highly unusual for the chairman of, of either political party to go after someone who's running for, for president in a primary. Uh, without even, the, before the person, especially before the person even comes in, into the state. But it shows you how sensitive the state party was to the fact that the Democratic Governors Association put no money into the a gubernatorial race on behalf of Molly Kelly, while the Republican Governors Association, uh, despite the fact that Governor Sununu was supposed to be the favorite, and was, put $800,000 in, in advertising, especially uh, at the very end, an additional $300,000 after uh, polling seemed to show that the race was tightening. So the feeling is, briefly, that had the DGA, the Democratic governors, headed by Inslee, done something more, perhaps she would have won. Yeah, this does seem to go beyond hurt feelings, yeah. but uh, yeah. Governor Inslee, if he does run, it looks like he'll be making climate change yeah. a big issue, so maybe he can find some traction with yeah, that. Absolutely. I believe that a lot of the progressive people will, you know, look past this eventually, but right now it's not a good way to, to, to start. Yeah. Uh, Governor Sununu, just here, obviously. Uh, what did you think of his answer on a potential run for U.S. Senate in 2020? He seems focused on the task at hand, but there's still going to be pressure on him to yeah. run. It, there will be, and he didn't completely shut the door. He said he would take any, any phone call. There will be pressure on him because he's obviously obviously the one person who uh, uh, Republicans believe could give uh, Senator Shaheen a, a run. If she runs again, which she is expected to run again, uh, I'm not sure who you're going to see running, running against her. Uh, we have uh, a businessman from the uh, Upper Valley and also has offices in New York, Jay Lucas, who's certainly making noise about running. Uh, that would be a rerun of the 1998 gubernatorial race. Uh, ironically enough, uh, the governor, the, the which, bench, which he lost to Gene, Gene, lost Gene, to Gene, yeah. Gene Shaheen, of course, and uh, that was her third third term. And beyond that, uh, the other names that are kind of kicking around out there, uh, Eddie Edwards, possibly, who is thinking of running for the House, but who knows? He, maybe he would run for the Senate. Uh, this is if, if Shaheen does run. If Shaheen does not run, which is less likely, then you're going to have a pretty much a wide open race. Yeah, Wild West. Yeah, and then, then you see perhaps Kelly Ayotte getting it back into it. All right, quickly here before we wrap up, Elizabeth Warren uh, looking like she's going to be running for president now doing the exploratory committee thing. Looks like we could have a progressive civil war here in New Hampshire between the Warren and Bernie forces. Absolutely. Um, you know, there are many people, of course, uh, as, as your report earlier uh, last week pointed out, uh, who were wanted, who were with Elizabeth Warren trying to get her to run. And then, of course, when she chose not to, went to Bernie. And uh, they still want to stick with Bernie. So uh, we've already seen the uh, arrows flying in this one. All right, John DeStaso, it's going to be a busy year. Looking forward to working with you. Thank you, Adam. Same here. Okay. And